Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and uh, I'm the author of the Kingdom Living series, the Kingdom Bible Study Course, and the uh, Pocket Study Guides. Today, I want to share with you one of my really great confessions that I really like to do, and that is Ephesians 1.17. It says, uh, we're praying to the Father of glory that he would give to us the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him that that our eyes of understanding would be enlightened, that we would know what is the hope of his calling and what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in heavenly places, far above principalities, powers, mights, and dominions, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but the age which is to come. So, what I want you to go over today is um, that this is an awesome confession that will really open up your eyes and point to Jesus. He, you're, What you're praying is that he would give you, and he has already done this, that he would give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge of him. So you see, it's all about Jesus. Okay, so the more we know about Jesus and what he accomplished, the more everything points to Jesus, the more we'll walk in victory and power. Okay, and why does he want us to have a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him? Is that our eyes of our understanding would be opened. That we would be enlightened. That, that light would come into us and that we would have understanding. But what does he want to give us understanding about is the hope of his calling, why he died, what he did for us, and what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. In other words, he died so that the glory could be inside of us, not just come upon us once in a while, but that the glory could be inside of us. Remember, we are the temple of the living God. We are the mobile temple that is on this earth that carries the presence and the power of God on the earth. Okay, and it goes on to say, um, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe. Now that is really awesome. According to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead. And not just raised him from the dead, but he seated him at the right hand of God in heavenly places. Now, the fact that he raised him from the dead shows that our price and the penalty for our sin has been paid for but not only did he do that he raised them up and seated them in heavenly places far above principalities powers mights and dominions in heavenly places and we are seated in him so that is showing us that we have all power and all authority over all the power of the enemy it's showing us that he has successfully completed the mission of taking God's wrath, God's punishment, and God's judgment for all our lifetime of sins because he died before we were even born. He saw way ahead all the sins that we would do. He died for all of our sins, past, present, and future. He paid uh, the judgment, the punishment, the guilt, and everything that goes with our sin. He paid the price already. Okay, And to show that he paid the price, he rose from the dead. He didn't stay dead. And not only did he rise from the dead, but he is seated in heavenly places so we are seated in him he didn't have to do any of this he did it all for us so this is an awesome awesome confession scripture that will change your life and I pray today that your eyes will be open to have an understanding to see him in everything you say do and think and every time you look at the word you would see Jesus my name is Robin Bremer.net is my website and I'll talk to you tomorrow